biggest concern that I hear from people in making homemade whole wheat bread is that the recipes they have dried always turn out really dry and really crumbly. Well, I am Amy from A Red Spatula and I love whole grains and I love whole wheat bread. And I have spent the last 10 years developing recipes that are anything but dry and crumbly. So today I'm going to share six secrets on how to make a really simple whole wheat sandwich bread. Obviously, like the name implies, it's perfect for sandwiches, but also great for French toast or really anything else that you could want it for. So let me walk you through these simple steps, step by step, and even as a new baker, you're going to be able to nail this bread perfectly the first time and every time. So let's get started. Okay, so the first secret, not necessarily a secret, is to check the freshness of your yeast. You cannot make a good loaf of bread with old yeast. Now the second secret is, is to make a sponge. You add your water, your yeast, and your, about half of your whole wheat flour to the bowl. Mix it, cover it, let it sit for about 30 minutes. This hydrates the flour, but also adds to a much softer crumb on your bread. Continue to add your ingredients. These are all listed in the description. Uh, one thing to note, I do like to use oil in place of butter. I think it makes it a little bit softer. And then the um, next tip is to use vital wheat gluten. If you've never used this before, it adds protein to your dough, of course, but it also increases the rise on your bread from what you would normally see. Now I'm just showing here, you want it to be just a tiny bit sticky, not overly sticky or tacky as we call it. And then the fourth tip is to make sure that your bread is properly mixed. This takes about six to eight minutes on medium speed. You form your window pane. Now of course with whole grain doughs, especially with their, when they're home ground, you're gonna have a little rougher texture. That's totally normal. Now I've covered this, I let it rise for 45 minutes. It might take a little bit longer or shor shorter depending on how humid and how hot your house is. And then you're gonna start forming your loaf. This is how I do it. I fold in the sides and then start tucking it down. Now again, overproofing is really, or not overproofing is very important in both rises that you do. We're coming up on the second rise. Once I put it into my pan, we wanna be really careful that we don't let it over rise or overproof as well. We wanna make sure that it's perfectly proofed. Cover it and let this rise. Now the way that I check whether or not it's overproofed, you can see it's doubled in size, but I also just kind of poke the side and if you see, see that indention sticks, that means that it's properly proved. Now the sixth and last secret is you do not want to overbake your bread. I always go by temperature with my breads. And for wheat bread, what you're looking for is about 190 to 192 degrees. Take it from the oven, let it cool completely. You want those starches to set. And here is that amazing bread.